Loves Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. Um, this is it. So I just recently got this last week. It's because I've seen a lot of, you know, rave review about it and it seems it's really good so i'm quite late actually with this bandwagon but it's not too late so today we'll be trialing it um how it performs longevity wise coverage um yeah so what else if this is just a very on point video i'm just just gonna apply this on my face using a face brush and see how well does it perform it's a very good example because i have an, um, eye bags um titingnan natin kung makakover up ba niya i've got pimples on my forehead yung eye bags ko talaga pag nakover niya to ay nako i'm so happy so ang problem areas ko would be See? Nakita nyo? Grabe yung eye bags ko, no? As in. Ayun. So, titignan natin. First of all, paano ko siya i-apply? I'll just apply it the way I apply any other foundation. So, one pump muna tayo. And what I normally do is I they say sabi nila one pump lang is enough for the face. Pati titignan natin. I think bibilisan ko. Yung texture niya, guys. Gel. Gel talaga siya. Hmm. And I'm gonna use my buffing brush. This brush is from Simple Essentials. Okay. Ay, by the way guys, yung yung shade pala ng foundation ko is 22 bisque light. I always get a lighter shade, one shade lighter than my skin tone because na notice ko lang lahat ng foundation ko they oxidize on my face. Ibig sabihin nagda darken siya. Siguro dahil sa oil ng face ko or it's just the way it is. Guys, masyadong maputi ang sa camera lumalabas. Pero, honestly, in person, hindi siya maputi. Nasa ilaw ko siguro. Anyway, that's the first pump. So, yan yung itsura ng foundation. Oh my God, ang ganda. Parang wala akong nilagay. Dahil kita niya yung mga pimples ko dyan. So, tatakpan natin yan. Okay, first impression ko, ang dali lang niyang i-blend. Very lightweight. Wala akong nararamdaman. May konting, very like, out of, kung i-rate yung stickiness na sa 0 0.01. Hindi siya sticky at all. By the way, guys, I'm not putting anything. Diba? Na, nakita nyo, I did not put any primer on. I'm not gonna set this with any products. I'm not gonna set it with any setting spray, powder, or whatever. Because I just wanna test how the foundation would perform just by itself. Um, yung skin type ko, guys, is... It depends kung anong weather. Kasi minsan, pag mainit, nag-o-oil ako. But generally, yung skin ko is very dry. And so, maraming foundation na hindi nag work sa akin kasi nga nag nakikling sila sa dry patches ko. So, ito yung first impression ko dito. Ang dali niyang i blend, and mukha pa rin siyang balat. So, yung second pump ko dito ko lang nilagay sa under my eyes hindi masyado na cover yung bags ko pero na even out na yung skin tone ko i can't believe it super ganda niya in person siguro talaga wala na tong pag-asa yung eye bags ko kasi wala rin akong tulog okay oh my god i really like the finish Guys, promise, para lang 
Parang wala lang. Ang itsura niya, wala kang foundation. Pero, may foundation ka. And, sheer finish. Well, hindi niya totally natakpan. Yung, eto, yung pimple ko. Hindi niya natakpan masyado. Tingnan natin kung matatakpan niya, ha? Kung wala ako ng konting-konti lang. Hindi naman one pump. Konti lang. Tingnan natin kung kaya ba niyang itago. Although, yung gel naman nilagay dito is sheer finish, eh. So, hindi ganun siya ka full coverage. Pero guys, please, ang ganda niya. Ewan ko na lang kung di nyo pa ito magustuhan. By the way, I got my Marc Jacobs Foundation in Sephora website. I think yung Sephora at NZ is based in Australia. And I got them for 69 New Zealand dollars. Ito yung finish niya. Nakaka-flawless. Para akong photoshopped. I mean, I'm not gonna set this foundation with any products. I'm not gonna apply any um, makeup spray. I didn't apply any primer. So, ititas lang talaga natin the foundation itself. Gano'n siya katagal sa face ko. Magsaslide down ba siya? Will it react to any other? Para sa akin, hindi siya full-full coverage, ha? Kasi nga, nakikita ko pa yung ibang spots ko. Like, nakikita nyo yan. Ayan, nakikita pa, di ba? Yun. So, yeah, pero okay lang. ba? Ano ba ang gusto nyo? Takpan nyo talaga yung buong mukha nyo. Hindi naman yata maganda. Depende. Kasi walang natural light sa kwarto ko. Kaya mas better na makita nyo yung foundation. How does it look like under natural lights? May makeup on. I got my bronzer, my blush on, my lipstick. So, ganito yung itsura niya under natural light. Sobrang flawless, parang naka-photoshop ka, pero hindi talaga siya sticky, hindi siya mabigat sa face. Wala, super love ko siya. So, ngayon, I forgot to bring my phone. However, okay. So, it's 1... 1... Hindi niyo It's 1.54pm. So, later, I'll check maybe after 2 hours how does the foundation perform. Sorry. Hi there. So, mag-review na tayo ngayon ng foundation. Um, we timed it earlier. It's 1.54 p.m. Ngayon, it's 5.49. So, almost 4 hours na. So, ito yung sure ng foundation. Medyo oily na siya kasi nga hindi natin sinet ng powder. Naka-on yung heater kanina dito sa loob ng bahay. So, ibig sabihin, nag-oil ka pag medyo hot yung weather. Ayun, pero... Sa totoo lang, maganda pa rin siya. Flawless yung coverage niya. Sheer, hindi siya ganun ka full coverage kasi nakikita ko pa rin yung balat ko underneath the foundation. Um, if you ask me if I recommend the foundation, I totally recommend the foundation. I really like it. Kaya, ayun. So, ngayon, pag gagamitin ko siya next time, isiset ko na siya ng powder after ko siyang i-apply para hindi ka mag-oil. And if you are oily or you will be in a hot weather, magdala ka na lang ng blotting sheet para mag-blot mo yung oil or any setting powder for that matter. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye! Hey, never felt this way Can't get enough, so stay with me. It's not like we got big plans.